In our previous video, we talked about how balance sheet accounts can be used in transactions in WAVE to show the money coming in or going out of those transactions. However, there may be some balance sheet accounts that you would like to use here, but can't because they're not available on the list. That's because in order for them to be available on the list of accounts in your transactions page, you first must add them as a payment account. So in this brief video, we'll show you how to set up accounts as payment accounts inside of WAVE. To set up an account as a payment account inside of WAVE, we need to go to our chart of accounts. You can access the chart of accounts through your accounting page from the left hand menu. So here's our chart of accounts. There are only certain accounts that we can make payment accounts in WAVE. They need to be a balance sheet account, so they need to be in the asset, liability, or equity categories, and they must be editable, shown by this pencil icon. So for example, cash on hand is an example of a balance sheet account that I can make a payment account. To do that, all I need to do is check this box that says payment account. I use this account to deposit or spend money. You can see that if I come down to my equity, equity is also something that is a payment account. Most of your more common payment accounts, such as bank accounts, credit cards, and your equity, are going to be automatically set up for you as payment accounts. So you shouldn't need to worry about this. If, however, you've set up a custom account and it's not showing as a payment account, this is how you would go into WAVE and set it up. Thank you for watching the Bootstrapper's Guide to WAVE Accounting. If you found this video useful, I encourage you to click the like button below, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share this video with other entrepreneurs. Doing so will help us to continue creating more videos like this one for you and other WAVE users here on the Accounting Lab.